what is up everyone wonder to win here and i'm bringing you another video these are my top 10 favorite pokemon um this was something started by leo six foot hacks and then he passed it on to rylan aka all chisel nine and then he's gonna pass it on to me which who is me <laughs> you got the first two guys and then it comes to me <laughs> all right i see how you do it. i see i see you anyway well initially when i started picking pokemon to uh, pick for this list I had like 25, so I was like, okay, let me just do a 25. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that, so I I don't know how I did this, but I got it down to 10, and let me just go ahead and get started, because I'm, I'm already taking too long to get into this, and this is why you came to this video, is to, to meet the Pokemon that I picked. So the first one, number 10, is going to be Flygon. Um, now, most of my choices are going to be based off of me using it either in-game or competitively because I don't watch the show um, as of now. I did back in the day and it really doesn't, I, well, I, okay, it's, it's not as relevant, but I don't know. Anyway, I picked Fly Gun because I really liked it in 4th Gen, it was a uh, revenge killer, it's usually scarfed uh, or a bandit or something like that. and. Um, it doesn't, it's not, one does not just sweep, you just finish off your opponents with it and go into something else, but um, my favorite set to use with this was the mix set, because I, I like mix sets, and uh, one in Fire Blast, Draco Meteor, Earthquake, U-Turn, stuff like that, and I, I, I thought this was pretty cool, because this is a dragon Pokemon, um, but it doesn't have Dragon Dance, and that is like you know one of the iconic moves for a dragon pokemon and for this to be uu that means that it is above other dragon pokemon which mostly are in ou but there are other dragon pokemon that learns dragon dance um well not many i think of uh, artaria and pre-evolution forms but um they are a, a lower tier than this one so this one is uh, good enough to not have dragon dance but still be useful so I, I thought that it's like a weaker version of Garchomp. For some reason, Game Freak does not like Ground Dragon Pokemon um, having Dragon Dance because I guess they think that it'd be too OP. But um, yeah, I like it. It's cute. It's got little goggles on. I don't I don't know what that thing is. I think I saw it in one of the the movies, the Entei movie. I think Ash was riding it or something like that. That was pretty cool. Um, I just I just like it. It's like a sand lizard dragon kind of thing. I always liked it because of that. Um, and that's uh, the Fly Gun. Number 9 is going to be Infernape. Um, this Simeon thing here. <laughs> this is Captain Simeon the Space Monkeys. Or, um, it just kind of reminds me of uh, Planet Apes. I mean, I have an affinity for Fire Pokemon just because I'm, I'm just one of those people. But um, it kind of reminds me of Planet of Apes. And I, I liked that as a child. So, you know, going hand in hand. And um, Blaziken was not one, one of my favorite Pokemon. I, I didn't like Bla Blaziken. I used to pick the Fire Pokemon starters whenever I, um, I played a new game. And I didn't like Blaziken. And this was a good, in my eyes, this was a good replacement. Because it, it was cooler. Uh, I thought it was cooler. Um, and once again, competitive wise, you can run a mix set. Like I said, I like running a mix set. So I can get Fire Blast, Close Combat, U Turn, Stone Edge. Um, you know, HPIs and stuff like that. It's very versatile. Um, I feel like Blaziken is more one-dimensional. It, it's, it's either, uh, you know, physical or special. You can't. I don't think people ever run mix, but you could. Um, but yeah, like I said, this Pokemon that is not one-dimensional. That's the, that's where I, that what catches my eye. If that makes any sense. I'm hoping it makes sense. But um, my number eight. Is going to be Electros. This thing gets no love at all. This thing is powerful. Um, most people run in, in you as a physical. Um, it can get coil and it has wild charge and stuff like that. But I don't, I don't like that. I actually like the special side of it. Um, it has discharge, it has thunderbolt, giga drain, flamethrower, acid spray. I mean, it, it does work, and it's it's not the best stats, hence why it's in, in you. But um, it, it has good HP, which makes it live hit. So. Um, I really enjoy this this thing, and, and the first two forms we're gonna just ignore. But look, it it kind of looks like Tony Stark because it has the little circles on his hands, so it looks like it could shoot out. Okay, I'm gonna stop with that. <laughs> it has a fin. There you go. It has a fin. <laughs> I like Electros. It's pretty cool. Um, it does have a levitate, so it actually has no weaknesses because of that. And um, it's just, uh, I think all around. It may be a funny looking Pokemon, but it's actually pretty cool. 
Um, and so that's why it made the list. Number seven, I believe, yeah, number seven is Simmons Age. This cool ball looking dude here. Um, if you don't know who Kurobar is, it is one of my favorite characters off of one of my favorite animes, Yu Yu Hakusho. He has the little, uh, what do you call that, head style? Um, I thought that Pufant. I don't even know what that is. It sounds like a yogurt or something. He has the, the hairstyle. It reminds me of it. And he just looks like a cool guy. I mean, he's giving you the thumbs up. And usually, but not in this picture. He has his hand different. But he's usually giving you the thumbs up, knowing everything is going to be okay. And, uh, and once again, this guy, this guy is not really, a, he can't really mix this guy. Um, I do like the physical aspect of him, you know, acrobatics and um, stuff like that. But it, it's just one of the grass monkeys. It's just, I think it's the coolest looking one, just because it reminds me of cool ball. But that's the only positive thing I have to say about this Pokemon. I just like the way it looks. It's, this is totally based on looks. Um, and speaking of looks, I'm going to go to number six, and it's going to be Buffalon. Now, this is a 5th gen version of Tauros, who just happened to have an afro, some rings. I don't know what's going on with this Pokemon, why they thought to add this, but um, I really like it. It's not fast, it's, you know, it's kind of bulky. It can take hits, and because of the speed, it's able to take, I mean, because of the lack of speed, um, is replaced by is, is replaced. It's okay because it can take hits. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. It be it would be sucky if it couldn't take hits and it was slow. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. It's a, a more hip version of Pearls. Um, it's his cool cousin, I guess if you want to say. I'm a, I have an affinity for Alphros. I had one at one point. I kind of have one now. And um, you give me a Pokemon with an Afro, and I'm probably going to use it. So I I really like it. I also using the Ru. Um, the RU tier. It has Sap Zipper, so it come it's a good um, check to grass Pokemon. You know, you can they can predict all they want, but HP fire or ice or whatever, it's not gonna do much to this Pokemon. So um, I can still get a sub in on the switch or be banded and go for the Mega Horn, Eiffel Charge oh not Eiffel Charge, um, head charge and um, do some damage. So I really like this Pokemon just because it's once again based on looks and um, I got like three normal Pokemon in a row here. So, <laughs> and speaking of that, number five is going to be Pidgeot. Now, Pidgeot's absolutely nothing special about it. Base rise, uh, stats rise, or base stats rise, um, move pool rise. I just like it because it was one of my favorite Pokemon in first gen. Um, it, it was a common Pokemon like Rattata and Pidgey. You found at the beginning of the game in those Pokemon really kind of help you throughout the game until you get something stronger. Uh, the thing I liked about Pidgey uh, was that it reminded me of the starters. I mean, you got it at level 6, it evolved to level 18, the Pidgeotto, and then it evolved again at level 36. Now, the two evolutions makes it a little bit different than most because um, most common Pokemon like that only have two evolutions. This one had, I mean, one evolution, this one had two, and the third. It just, I don't know, it helps the fantasy of playing the game. Imagine using Fly with Pidgeot that is big enough to hold you and it looks cool and you're soaring above the towns and stuff, going to roots and it, it helps play into the fantasy and it has these little, this like Super Saiyan 3 kind of hair going. I don't know what the, what the deal with that, but it, it just looks majestic. And then um, I was very sad in the first generation of the uh, TV show that they got rid of. I mean, Ash, pretty much, if anything evolved, Ash got rid of it, except for Charizard, which eventually he did. So I'm like, why do you get rid of all your strong Pokemon? He had a Butterfree, got rid of. Pidgeot, got rid of. Charizard, it, kid, been back and forth ever since. Uh, but it, it made me quite sad, but I just like this Pokemon. Especially, especially like the one, the bandit set with Roos. That I would never live down apparently in fourth gen. I had put Roost because it, I didn't know what fourth move to play. I didn't want to put Double Edge or something like that. So I put Roost. And, and I'm, I'm battling um, Scott, aka the Acousticon, and he goes for knockoff. And so <laughs> I switch back in Pidgeot and I go for Roost and I get my health back. So I was like, you know, if I, if I make them switch, I could potentially go for Roost, you know, because Stealth Rock damage was a thing. And I can get some health back, and I can switch back out or something like that. That was my idea at the time, but I was not a Smogonite. Um, I didn't look at Smogon back then, and you know now I 
pretty much do, but it was just it was something fun. I had fun when I was first playing. <laughs> and then, uh, is this number four? Yeah, this is number four. Um, this is Aquilamon, aka Spray Rary. I call it Aquilamon because it reminded me of uh, the uh, Devolution, Div Digilution, Devolution. I can't even remember. Now I didn't look this stuff up before I started talking. <laughs> Uh, it's the uh, Digilution, whatever it's called, of Hawkmon uh, from uh, Digimon. <laughs> it's like the third season, second season? No, second season. No, I don't know. It doesn't matter. Um, so I did a video. It was like when I first started this channel that I was comparing it to, and I might link that just because it's old. Um, but you know, it's like, hey, this is. Aquilamon, hey, this is a Braviary, hey, this is Aquilamon, you know, it's the same thing, but I, I think I said Braviary were wrong too back then because I didn't really know how to say it, I, I think I said Bravi, blah, 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 it doesn't even matter, I like this thing, it's, uh, it goes also with the fact that, you know, the fantasy of teaching a bird Pokemon fly, and that this thing can literally carry the team on its back and fly across the lands to different adventures and stuff, and um, it looks pretty cool. It's got the like native headdress kind of thing going on, and it's got the um, I want to say American colors, but it, it, it's not really red, right? Well, I guess it. Yeah, it, a lot of people name it after that because I mean it's like it looks like a freedom bird. I don't know what else to call it. Um, so I liked it based on that, and I'm gonna quit because I'm running out of stuff to say about that. Uh, and um, number three is Embor. I love this Pokemon just because it's a freaking bull on fire. And look, it's neck and whatever that that whole head area is on fire. And for some reason I, I found it really cool. It just the style of it is really cool. And it, I like everything about this Pokemon. Um, yes, it is the third in a row uh, Pokemon starter that is firefighting. But um, if you go back and look at what they were doing with the the fire Pokemon, I believe each one is like a, um, I was going to say character, but is a animal in the Chinese Zodiac or something like that, and this is the bull, and you did the, the chicken, and the monkey, and Tarzar was the dragon, I believe, or something like that, and um, Typhlosion was the weasel, or I don't remember, I've slept a lot since I looked at that, and I thought that was pretty cool. But like I said, I like this Pokemon. It's just the basic look of this Pokemon. And I also use it in competitive battling. Um, Bandit, Scarf, Flame Charge, Mixed. Um, I, I really like what it could do. And it's really powerful. You put a band on this thing, Bandit Fair Blitz, and once Reckless comes out, Bandit Fair Blitz, Reckless. It's going to get two Flare Blitzes off and die. But something is going to die with it. It's, just, it's automatically guaranteed. So, uh, I thought that was pretty cool to be at number three. Um, number one, oh, psh, number one, really? I don't know how to count anymore. Number two is going to be Tyranitar. Um, I fell in love with this Pokemon from second gen. Uh, it's one of, one of those things that you had to put in work. Like Dragonite, it had that high level of the, the high level of second evolution. Um, I think they're actually at the both same as like 55 or something like that. Um, I shouldn't know this, but I don't. It's been a while. Um, and you put in so much work to get it to 55. I mean, and then it transformed into this dinosaur looking reptar thing that that commands the sand when it comes out. Like, this thing comes out and sand just starts going everywhere. That was, that was pretty epic back in the day. And I was like, man, I love this Pokemon. Uh, Lav uh, I like Lavatar just because I, th I thought it looked cool, but it was just ground. And then Pupitar is like in the shells and stuff. And I didn't like it at first, but you get attached to it because you win it so long. You're trying to get this thing up to 55, which I'm going to say is the is the level, yeah, level 55. I'm looking at the stupid Pokedex right now. Um, and you get attached to it, and then all of a sudden it's a dinosaur. It's a Tyrannosaurus Rex. That create that controls the sand, and that that seems to me really cool. Um, the typing, unfortunately, is really bad because fighting Pokemon are a thing, 
they're still popular, and this thing is four times a week to fight Pokemon. But other than that, I, I still really like this Pokemon. It continues to be one of my favorites. Um, you, if you watch me regularly or been with me for a long time, you know that I don't use weather, and the fact that this is uh, a weather starter is it, completely negated by the fact that it is awesome. I, I really like this Pokemon. And so, the number one Pokemon is. And you're probably going to be surprised by this, but it is Azelf. I really like this Pokemon. This thing is a fairy, right? It's, it, I know it's weird, Some a guy likes a fairy Pokemon, but this thing is a threat. <laughs> if you're going to go special, it's a threat. If you go physical, it's a threat. Lead Pokemon, threat. Nasty plot, threat. This, this thing, the fact that you don't know what it can do until it's already done it. Kind of like Mew. It's just, it looks cute until it starts doing what it's supposed to do. And then you're like, what do I do? I mean, I know there's text to it. This is only you, you. But the fact that it can still work in OU. And like I said, you just don't know what it's going to do until it's already done. And now you got to hope that you have something to prepare for it. And it, the fact that it's a fairy makes me even that much happier. Because you don't expect it to be a threat. It's like, oh, it's a fairy. What is it going to do? No shower me with sparkles and, and glitter and stuff. No, it's going to fire blast. It's going to zen the headbutt. It's going to trick you while you're trying to like rest up or something or set up somehow. And it's just going to make you have a bad day. And so I really like this Pokemon just because it's so versatile. Every Pokemon on this list isn't, well, okay. Most of the Pokemon on this list are very versatile. They're not just one dimensional Pokemon. You can't just slap something on it and uh, and it does nothing else. I mean, some of the Pokemon, yes, but not all of them. And that's what I like about these Pokemon is they're more than meets the eye. Am I really going to Transformers route with this? Is Linkin Park playing in the background? I should probably not do that. That's probably copyright, but uh, it's just I really, I really enjoy that uh, about these Pokemon is that you can do, you don't have to do the standard with these. You can do crazy stuff and still have fun. So. I hope you enjoyed. I talked for long enough about my favorite Pokemon. Like I said, um, I'm sorry if it's not all show or not all competitive or not all, um, oh, this Pokemon's cool because I use it in Inu and it does this, 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 and it. I wasn't really, I mean, this is supposed to be my favorite Pokemon. It's not, it's not in competitively or whatever. It's just Pokemon I like to see or use. It's a combination of everything. So, um, who I am going to call out is my boy Keo392. Uh, so it's his turn to make a Pokemon video. And I hope y'all enjoyed this one. And definitely go check out the people I'll link in, uh, in, in the description. Uh, and have a nice day. Bye.